Hey guys and gals, we're in Space Engineers, and last I left off, actually we went, or er, if you watched the previous episode, it was nothing but mining, but we did get quite a bit of iron, and we also got, um, we also found platinum, so that's good, let's see the assembler... Refinery. Did I not? Did it finish? Oh, must have finished. I thought that I had more iron than that. I did. It, okay. Just making sure. Did I leave anything on the ship itself? Just making sure here. Okay, yeah, I, I do have some platinum on here. And then I just went and got a bunch of ice. Okay. So platinum can come off. Stick the platinum in here. 38.6k of platinum. Not bad. I'm not going to make the platinum until I get the efficiency modules on the refinery so that I can. See which maybe productivity module or effectiveness. I think I think it's the productivity module. The power efficiency module it takes less power to do. I'm not really worried about that. I have a decent supply of uranium coming in. But effectiveness, I can't remember I can't remember which one is which. I have to look that up, but for now, I'm going to finish the base. I have a lot of steel plates. Some more going on here. Come over here, get on my welding ship. my fuel doing anyway. Okay, lock that down, and then I want my cargo container. That's the same one. <laughs> this is what I want. Oh, that's right. This connect, yeah, I remember now. Okay. It's been a little while since I've played last. I forgot that my <clears throat> cargo container is not connected to my connector with a large port. So that's, I have to do all this manually by hand, which is okay, I guess. I want to put like 
750 in. I want to save some for me to, to build with. So, okay. How am I looking on ice? Okay, I have ice. How is my hydrogen tank? 100%. Great. Oops. Unlock landing gear. Turn on the welders. And time to go to town. Just gonna finish this platform and then I'm gonna start laying out the groundwork for my the buildings that are gonna go up here or building. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put a couple of different buildings, like pod style or <clears throat> or how I'm gonna do it. Am I just getting too far away? Yeah I am. Spin this down here a little bit. Oh, you know, I don't, I don't, never mind, I was going to say, I don't know if I have the materials to finish those on this ship, but apparently I do. Keep forgetting that I have like eight bottom thrusters, or like nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. <laughs> hey, it didn't work. If it doesn't work, add more thrust. Why is that like that? This. Almost there. Almost got the main platform complete. Uh, must be out of steel plates. Wow, I'm going through them like crazy. Turn my welders off because I kill myself, that's for sure. <clears throat> Excuse me, alrighty. Well. Looks like I'm going to need a lot more steel plates. I'm thinking maybe 10,000. That'll get me started with everything. Eleven, 10,100. 21,000 iron ingots. I have 60k, I believe. Do, do, yeah, 65. I thought that I got more than that, but... Oh well. Okay, so while that's going, <clears throat> I will add a 
finish this. So I need to get I need to find out the layout or get the layout of my base itself. I messed up. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I messed up here. And these aren't gonna go. Here. Yep, yeah, these aren't gonna go. Here. It's actually going to go here. I'll show you why in one second. Oops. Is that the way I wanted you to go? Okay. So basically, I'm going to have this gone and that gone. I'm going to 90 up. And then I'm gonna continue this up like this above all of my buildings. Maybe not quite that high. Maybe my buildings are huge. But that's gonna go up, and then I'm just gonna build kind of a little like protection around it. Now, granted, the backside isn't protected, I know. But, and maybe I will encase the entire thing. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, I just want to get it up and running. And then my turret's going to go right here. My turret will go there. And I'll have like four on, the, on each corner. And maybe in the middle there. Maybe. We'll see. I think I ran pipe to it, but... But at least four defense points. So that's gone. This is gonna go. Okay. And then, yep. And then I want my conveyor here. This one's gonna be a little different. I actually have a conveyor here. And then a 90 to connect these two conveyors together. And this will come up there. So I gotta count how many I have on that side. But that's the gist of it. now at least okay so now my building I'm thinking my landing platform is gonna kind of be I'm gonna have a, a an area open that that's not roofed in or anything like that and I'm thinking it's gonna be here so my actual Here's the part, part that's not done. <laughs> is gonna be my actual like building area. Where I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have a couple buildings, and instead of like just one giant, I'm gonna have like a couple of just different areas for different things. And I'm really thinking about having my refinery on the bottom of this base, just kind of hanging out, like legitimately hanging. Um. How big is it? That's 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 the real thing. Is I don't know how big it is. 
I mean, I do. I know they're giant. And maybe I'll just put it on top. Maybe that'll be like one section of the building. I'll just kind of have it next to. Oops. How is that compared to my turret? My turret might have to go up one more. Because so I'm going to have refinery. Do I need two refineries? That's a lot of steel, but I could have two. I think it's just one. I'll just have one. It's not like, I mean, this is solo. It's not like I'm going to have tons of materials, tons of ore. And if I do end up having it, then I'll just build another one somewhere. But I don't think I'll need another refinery. So... Not a jetpack. Not that one, but it's the one next to it. It's where the port is. I'm going to connect it all to the bottom. I hate this. Please don't die. Please don't die. Okay. Didn't die. My energy filled up a little bit. How's my steel plates going? Are they done? Nope. That's it. Okay, so this is where the port on the bottom of my refinery is going to be at. Pretty sure that's the port. I need that. So then we can come out the bottom of that and over into your plate to the bear. Alright, well, back over here. Get some interior plates. Okay, glad my welders weren't on. See, see, that's why you don't that's why you don't leave the welders on. And then that'll go there because this will come over. I'm not going to build this 90 yet because I have to get to this one. But that'll be the kind of that'll be the gist of it. I did build these here. Oh, that's okay. It's nice to have connection points periodically placed around. Alright, so this is going to be my assembly and production area. 
in refinery area. So I want an assembler down here. I also want an arc furnace. And these are just small. I'll stick it right here, right on the side of my refinery. And then my assembler. like that and just connected to it all it's all connected to the conveyor system on my assembler I left the ports open so that I can or the efficiency module connection points open at least on three of the sides so at least I can get a little bit my cargo room kind of over here and then see that it's going to be one two three and Oh, that's the block that it was attached to. Okay. All right. Alrighty. Sorry about that. Somebody was at my door. So if you noticed a little skip, which I'm assuming you probably did, um, that was me pausing the recording and then coming back. So where was I? I was in the middle of putting this here. I don't really need a conveyor there, do well, yeah, yeah. And then this um on the conveyor, maybe somewhere. Is that on it? Yeah. And then I can just kinda continue my wall. You know, like here. I'll probably get to like here, maybe. Probably do that. Where's the sun? Is the sun setting? I think it's setting that way. Let's see if it oops. Let's see, is the sun disappearing behind my block? I think it is. Could just be me moving in the chapter, but I think it is. I think it sets that way. Um, Alright, so... As far as solar goes... I'm thinking of coming off the back. Or the side. Man, I don't know. Actually, probably the top. Yeah, but my turrets would just gun it down. I don't know. The base is facing a weird, or it's like angled in a weird direction. <clears throat> but, okay, well. The good news is that because somebody was at my door and it paused, um, steel plates are probably done. There. 
Two more trips. And I need to do something about this manual loading thing. I put, I put a connector on it for a reason. The connector just doesn't even work. Um, I don't know if I explained why the connector doesn't work or not, but pieces parts like this don't move through small connector ports or small, you know, um, conveyor ports. I have my cargo container attached to my um, tank, the small cargo or small um, conveyor port. Can't speak today. Um, so, and then of course, my connector is connected. Connector is connected to my hydrogen tank from a large conveyor port, but since that small port's connected here, I can't actually get big things from container to the connector or from a connector to the container. Ore is not considered large and it can go through a small tube, that is why my mining ship works the way it does. Pieces parts are not, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to go with the flow and manually, manually load. That's okay. It'd be better if I didn't have to, but... Sorry. Inevitably, I guess it's better than the alternative, which is building it by hand. Turn on my conveyor ports. Conveyor. Wow, I can't even speak today. I shouldn't be flying a ship. On my welders is what I meant. Okay, now the hard part is I actually built stuff over this before I finished it. I don't think I have the pieces parts to finish this. No, I don't. I need a lot of stuff, but it's okay for now. this will do. Oh, that's right. I need a reactor room. I forgot about that. Let's just kind of get this in here a little bit, a little bit. Okay. Let's see. these days I'm just gonna like smash into the side of my base when I'm welding and break my welders off. I'm not sure if the welders can repair each other or not. Sometimes if they're close enough you can do it. Other times not. level and then go up, I should be okay. Okay. Oh, 
Never mind. Ah! <laughs> Man! It's a lot. Alright. Uh oh. I did it. Broke it off. Sure this one's repaired. Oh no 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 no! Okay, let's turn them off and then make sure this one is set. Make sure this one's repaired. Okay, this one's good. Um, welder. Slap it down here. I need more stuff than I have on my ship. Oh, maybe not. Six small steel tubes, two motors, two motors. Uh, I don't have the small steel tubes. Oh, I do the motors though, don't I? Yeah. There's only three, right? Six, black. Oh no. Two. Alrighty. Okay, cool. So, broken. Broke a welder off. It happens. I knew it was going to happen. I said it was going to happen, and then it did. So, that's what I get. Shouldn't have spoke. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to want the small steel tubes. I need six. And then I'll stick these here. And then I'm gonna need some interior I'm gonna need some displays. And some interior plate. Might as well put much material plate on actually I'm probably gonna much more. And some motors. Middle grid, some air components. Oh, I do have just some displays. That's okay. Blue glass. Stick all this stuff in here. And then I also want to make sure that I come in here and get my welders. Actually add this welder to that group so that they both turn on. Perfect. Oops. Actually wanted to do this. Stick these in here for now. Okay, so let's try not to lob, lob, you know, lop a welder off.
Okay. It's pretty good there. finish some of this conveyor too while I have the pieces parts. I don't think I have enough to finish it all. But I'll be able to get a decent amount of it done. Okay, let's not let's not break a welder. Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, I had less than I thought. I need to find out what I'm missing. But for now, it's okay. Probably like construction components or something. Yeah, I'm missing construction components. Oh well, it's okay. Actually, I need construction components to do anything else, so... Oh well. Well, I'm gonna get some construction components being made. That way... Okay, my welders are on. That a wide berth. Do I have any construction components on me now? No. Okay, so they're being made. Assembled. They're being they're being assembled. Assemble Okay. Um so let's finish out this leg, this last support leg. Make sure I'm level so that I can just kind of do one of these deals. Perfect. It's not. It's not knocking landing gear off or th you know, thrusters. Okay, so that's good to go. Uh, I'm not going to build any of my walls yet, because if I do, then that means I will have to... construct like the assembler and stuff in a refinery by hand. My ship won't fit inside. Um, that's right, well, those are on. I'm gonna need really. Well, I guess I'll let them finish. Um, start moving this stuff over. Um. Okay. Display. I'm gonna need motors as well. So really the only thing that I need need is construction components and those are being made as we speak. Also, I want to point out that because I said that pieces parts can't go through the small con the small conveyor ports, you can still manually add stuff through the small conveyor port that's any size. I don't know how that works. But you can, so... Do I want to put a med bay? Nah, I mean, I can have this as my med bay. I 
do have some solar cells. I'm going to need more, though. And that's going to take a while. 3,000 iron. How much iron do I have? 41, okay. Um, what did I say I was going to need? I said I was going to need something and out solar panels, solar cells. Make construction components do I have? Two inch. That's not really enough for anything. But it'll get me started. you imagine if I did this all by hand? That would have been insane. That would be forever. So apparently I did have enough construction components for that. i set this down here. Turn my welders off. And I think I'm going to get the modules set. Oh, but is it effectiveness? I think effectiveness, I think it's effectiveness that I want. I think productivity makes it faster, power makes it use less power, and effectiveness makes it more effective so it doesn't say. Okay. Well. Let me just, um. So, is productivity. Pretty sure it's going to be effectiveness. We're going to go with effectiveness. Makes it more effective. We're going with effectiveness. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure um, productivity modules make it faster. I think they increase it by 25 percent per. Could be 50 percent. Maybe. So I got some on there. Isn't there a port on this side? Oh, I guess it's just there. Okay. I looked it up my phone really quick, and yes, it is the... That is the one we want. The effectiveness module, what it does is it it increases the amount of ingots you get per ore. So when you're running low on a certain ore... What am I missing? When you're running low on a certain type of ore... Alright, construction components. Um... Or if you don't have, if you can't find, like, like I can't find tons of platinum, although I actually do have a lot of platinum now, or a decent chunk. But it, it gives you more ingots per ore. I don't know the numbers exactly, I'm just going to say let's pretend 100 ore is one ingot. 100 ore might be two, three, or four ingots, essentially. I don't know the, I don't know the true numbers, so I don't think that that's the, the true numbers, but that's just an example. The power efficiency, it makes the refinery use less power. That's great when you're first starting out and your power is limited. I, 
I never used them actually this episode. I usually do, or this this uh, this series. I usually use the power efficiency, but I kind of. I mean, I was okay. I, I found some uranium like right off the bat, so I didn't need to worry about solar. Oops, if I turn them on. What am I missing? I thought it was construction components, but apparently it's not. Oh, small steel tubes. Grr. I make any? I don't think I have any being made. Let's queue those up first here. Get some small steel tubes going on. I need um like a hundred should do me, 120, something like that should do me. Should be alright. Now that I have these on here, I'm going to actually move my platinum to this station and use this refinery to get my platinum so I can have the most platinum I can possibly get from the ore that I have. Let's finish this cargo container. I have the pieces parts to do so. I think I, I should. I have displays, computers, interior plates, all that fun stuff. Um, okay. missing from that why can't I finish that steel plates man I just burned through steel plates although the refinery did use a thousand so that was it's kind of a lot One of these days. No, I'm not gonna say it. Not gonna say it. Not gonna say it. Turn that off. Where's, what's my iron? 39k? Okay. Is there a way to make more than just. Like 100? Like. Construction components. I'm gonna kind of just have to let these finish. I mean, I need steel plate for everything. Get my reactor set though. Maybe I should do two reactors. I might do two reactors. Might. <clears throat> Maybe I'll attach them to each side of the cargo container. I'm gonna make my own, it's the own little area for the reactors. It's gonna actually be right here. Oh, 
Uh oh. That's not good. Glad I didn't die right there. Okay, so... That's a thing. I didn't, interior play I didn't get interior played off of that at all. And that stuff required an interior play. Do you believe that? It's going to be in one block. There. Two reactors. Stick this stuff back in here. Got my steel plate. Steel tubes. Actually, still out of steel plate. But I can use my steel plate. Stick here, that's fine. Because I'll probably get the reactors done, start building the building a little bit, and then might call it. I might call it an episode. I think I put the reactor components. Yep. There it is. That's what's going to power this whole station. See what I'm thinking is for sake of protection. I'm gonna have some heavy armor blocks. Just kind of stick around. Steel plate. Steel plate. Oh, okay. Left my welders on again. Thinking heavy armor blocks around the reactors. Just for sake of protection. This, of course, is going to be the back wall. It's light armor blocks. Oop, but I can't. I don't want to do that yet. So I need to be able to these blocks. And then this will just be light armor right here. It's going to be one big building on the back end of this platform. Because 
where I put the reactors. Actually, come up one more. Sitting there. Come up one more there. Okay. It's not too bad. Do I want the top to be like a something fancy? Like I did the other one. I could have like a. rounded armor. slope. What's the difference between that one? and that one, the look, maybe? Maybe. Let's see what this will look like. Yeah, I'll probably do that. On the top. And then... I believe it is going to be this. Here. Yes. That's right. I'm gonna need on my corners. I'm gonna need this, the inverted. I think, right? Oh, what do I need? Inverted, rounded. Sure. I don't know if I like that. What other block is there? I guess that's it. Looks like a Cylon. Anyway. Um, okay. That'll do, I guess. That'll do. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, what if we do... Hmm. Nah. That'll be fine. It'll work. I'll end up taking it all apart, but that's okay. Put a jump drive on my station. Jump my station. To Mars, which is Mars is that way. I think. Alright. Sorry for making you dizzy. Just wanted to take a look see. Oop, welders were left on. Man, I'm I'm, I'm just not bad at it. Okay, this that there. enough to do anything but I'll probably slap some couple batteries in this station too maybe like well definitely away from the reactors but just for sake of a little bit of power redundancy 
my reactors go out, I want them to... My reactors die, I want them to be able to... I want my station to have power. I want my tur some of my turrets to still shoot. Because if my turrets don't shoot, I'm dead in the water. Dead in space. But then, anyway, so yeah. Um... I need to get some uranium. I'm thinking 60 uranium per reactor at this point in time. So I get 124. Just see exactly how well this is gonna work. So this one will have 62, and this one will have 62. Stations powered. Refiner should be online. Yep, I hear it. I hear it making noise. This platinum in this sea. Man, look at that. I'm getting 0 0.01 platinum. For what appears to be like 0 0.2 platinum ore. Man, okay. And this is with the efficiency modules too. Or effectiveness modules. I have 200% effectiveness. I'm getting double what you would normally get. Okay, well, do we have any more ore? I have stone. I'll take the stone up there. That's the last thing I need. Effectiveness with stone. Okay, well. Yeah. How much is it to make, so I'm going to have, let's say, two, I have two platinum ingots, how much is it to make one thresher? 0 0.04, so that's not bad. If I had four platinum ingots, I could make, what, 40 thresher components? I'm sorry, not 40. 10? Man, I can't math today. I'm, I'm... Yeah. Let's see if I have four. Move the decimal point. Or is it 100? I don't know. Regardless... Oh... It's okay. I think it's a hundred, but regardless, I actually have to prove it. Yeah, it's a hundred. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so how much small on a large ship take eighty? Okay, so it's about. It's a little bit less than four, four ingots for one small ion thruster. I really don't want to look at the large ion thruster, but eee, that's going to need to be 40 platinum ingots. 40 platinum ingots for one large ion thruster. Man, okay. Well, I might need to go find some more platinum. Okay. Lots of cooking. So for now, I think I'm going to call this an episode.
making progress. We are making progress. This station is essentially up and running. It's not a station yet. It's a platform. But yeah, it'll it'll work. We'll get it all closed in. I think after when I get this closed in, I get the oxygen set and whatnot. I'm gonna probably get oxygen in this station so that I can stand in there without my helmet on. Um, and not die. And then I might actually look into building something remote control. So that I can just sit in the station, remotely control it, and go. It might might be like a little probe, maybe. I need to figure out how far the laser antennas go. I think they go 50,000 kilometers, I think. Because it'd be nice... It'd be, it, it, it would be nice to... I don't think... Ah, uh, no, that's not going to work. Oops. Fall off this thing. It'd be nice to, uh... Go sit in here and, like, go... Send a probe, a really cheap probe... To Mars, or at least the moon of Mars... To see what's there, to see if there's pirates... Before I actually make my journey there... And then back to here... We'll see. I can scout out a little bit. I would also like to make a couple... I'd like to make a... It'd be nice to have a laser antenna. Like, I... I think if you make a legitimate, like, an actual antenna... Um... It's the laser. And then there's the... Actually, yeah, if you actually, if you make this one and you set the range, to, well, whatever you set the range to, if pirates are within range of that, then I believe they will come to your base. So what I might do is I might go 45 kilometers-ish out, set up a laser antenna, a little solar, like a little solar array with a laser antenna on it, laser antenna on my base, pair the two and then on that base put an actual antenna so that the pirates may come to that base I need to put some weapons on it though but that's okay I'll put weapons on it and the pirates will will come to that base I'll be able to see them because I'm connected to that station with the laser antenna and I'll know that they're there but they won't actually know where I'm at because they can't see the laser antenna the laser antenna doesn't broadcast your signal it, it shoots it directly to the other laser laser antenna that you have. So I'm gonna need superconductor components apparently for that. And superconductor components take. I know it takes platinum. How much? Oh, it doesn't. It just takes gold. Okay, cool. I have a little bit of gold. How much gold does it take? Point two. Okay, I have I have some gold. So that's okay. I thought it took platinum, but. Perfect. Works for me. So, that's the plan. I'm going to have like a little station out there somewhere. Probably between... Probably towards Mars. I'm not going to get halfway because that's not 50 kilometers. Well, that might be 50 kilometers. I don't know. Regardless, I'm going to have a little station from here and then about 50 kilometers towards Mars, probably 45 just to be sure, just to be safe. I'm also going to do a little research and make sure the laser antennas can go 50. I know you can be on the moon and hit something on on Earth with a laser antenna and be able to control it. I'm fairly certain. So it's a good portion, good ways away. That would be like Oh. 36 times. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I might be wrong. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, I'm going to have something out there a little bit. little ways. So that I can kind of... And I might actually... I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll set up a laser antenna array on top of this base. And I'll have like one over there. 
one over there, one there, and like one there, and just kind of have like a perimeter of stations with antennas on it. And you really can't find my base because I won't be broadcasting. Those bases will need to have guns on them because if pirates do end up going to them, then they'll need a way of defending themselves. But yeah, for now, I mean, this this will work. But that's that's the current plan to kind of get get set up here, get a little defense perimeter going on of antennas, so I can kind of see the traffic in the area. And who knows, maybe I'll be a fighter, maybe I'll be a pirate myself. Um, the goal is still to land on Mars and possibly land on the alien planet. I haven't decided yet for sure about the alien planet. I suppose it just depends on. I mean, I could just take this. I could just run with this series and have like a hundred episodes. But the goal currently is to land on Mars. I'll probably get a little base set up on the moon of Mars, just a little something, maybe like this. Not even this. I won't have the oxygen. I won't I won't worry about it. Just something that I can build a lander. Because I don't want to have to like take a lander from the moon all the way to Mars. I want to build a lander on the moon of on Mars moon. I think Mars has a moon. Pretty sure it does. But yeah, we'll see. Maybe not. Maybe I'll end up building the big ship, my bigger ship with ion thrusters. And then I won't need to build anything on the moon. I'll have a drill ship on that ship on the big ship there. But we'll see. I don't know. Ideas. Throwing ideas around. But for now, I'm going to get this base set up. Maybe some laser antenna to space station action going on just to kind of mess around with that. I've never messed around with laser antennas. That's why I'm not sure. But yeah, that's for next episode. I'm going to try to finish up this base and maybe start the laser antenna. It just depends on how quickly this base gets finished. So until next time, thanks for watching.